going on my super sandwiches rhyme style here and today i'm doing something a little bit different uh big shout out to d free first and foremost for getting me into this now i'm not going to do this all the time uh, i got a lot of requests to open up some po uh, Yu Gi Oh cards i want some pokemon Yu Gi Oh cards because i've been doing a lot of pokemon over the course of the last couple weeks but the reason why i'm doing these two boxes specifically is let's slide uh kaiba and yugi to the back uh there you go or i guess the pharaoh in the back the reason why i'm doing these two boxes it's because, number one, I watched D-Free do it and it looked really, really cool. It got me super nostalgic. I, I used to be super into Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was a kid. In fact, right there, I had the original Egyptian God cards, uh, Slifer and Obelisk, and I got the new uh, Obelisk from the movie right there. These are like the original ones. They don't even have like the effect on the bottom. This came, I believe, from the 2002 Game Boy game, 2003, something like that. Those are my last two Yu-Gi-Oh! cards in existence. I have a couple cards back at home, but for the most part, I haven't been into Yu-Gi-Oh! in a long time. But the movie came out, I really liked it, it was funny, uh, Kaiba reminded me, why I, reminded me why I liked the character so much, and then I watched D-Free open these uh, first edition uh, movie pack gold edition boxes, and inside these, there's a potential to get Slifer, so I figured, you know what, I'll buy two boxes, that's it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do Yu-Gi-Oh unpackings as often, I'm, I might not even do it ever again, this is just a one time thing, because you guys requested number one and two, I figured I'd give it a shot, so basically what these are, they come with three booster packs, and they also have like two special edition cards, so you get three booster packs, which contain five cards each, they're all like holographic, golden, ultra rare, something like that, uh, and then you have either a chance of getting a dark magician or a blue eyes, and then you also have a crystal dragon as well as, uh, I can't see what that says, right there as a possibility. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. Now, if I can get the Slifer, I'll be happy. I could just technically buy the Slifer off of eBay for like probably like five bucks or something. But it's the, the joy of pulling that one card that you want is a lot more epic than anything. And like I said, the other cool thing is the fact that a lot of you guys have wanted me to do a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh videos on the channel just because I've been doing so much um, Pokemon in the course of the last couple months. That's empty. All right. So here we go. This is what you get inside. There's the movie pack. Um, there's the promo cards. Let's see what promo cards we get. I kind of want to get, if I can get one with um, with uh, blue eyes and the other with dark magician, that'd be great. But if not, I'd rather get the blue eyes first. And question actually I want to ask is, of blue eyes or between blue eyes and dark magician, which one like uh, like better? Comment that down below first. And also, if you are having fun, make sure you leave a like for below as well. Let's go for a thousand likes on a Pokemon, wow, in the Yu-Gi-Oh opening. All right, so here's the three booster packs. As you can see, we'll put those aside. It looks like we got the Crystal Dragon, and uh, we got the Dark Magician. That is so nice. Oh my gosh, and look at that limited edition right there. This looks really freaking nice. It looks a lot nicer in person than it does on, on camera. The camera doesn't even show like the full hollow. Like, look at that. It's got the, like, the lines and everything. That is incredible. I am going to sleeve this up, put it in like one of my hard cases up there actually, so I can uh, look at that every single day. And here's the Crystal Dragon. The Crystal Dragon, I actually wanted from the other two options. And once again, also a limited edition as you can see, and super um, holographic. So here we go. So each of these packs contain like super crazy cards. So I'll do this all backwards. So the first pack we're opening up right now. Again, if I can get the Slifer, that's all I really want. That's all I want from this collection is that one Slifer, which I saw D3 pull. Let's actually put this backwards. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's see what happens. And before I get super addicted into Yu-Gi-Oh again, wouldn't that, wouldn't that be funny? All right, so we'll do it all backwards because these are all like good cards. The first card is going to be, we got, uh, ooh, Final Gears from the movie. Uh, if you watched the movie, you saw, well, no spoilers, not gonna spoil it. So that's the first card right there. It looks really nice too. I like the gold around that. Look at that first edition down there in the corner. As a collector, anytime anything's first edition is always nice. All right, and we got uh, Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord, uh, again from the movie. Super shiny and gold, first edition. They're all first edition. I think they only sell these boxes as first edition. Next one is, what is this? We got Crystal Avatar, oh, no Slifer. I'm like hoping to get the, uh, the Slifer. Look at that, it looks nice too. Ooh, I forgot how much I love the Yu-Gi-Oh card art. Next one is Magical Contract Door. Ah, no Slifer, and I, I think I saw, I saw the top of this one. So I don't think it's a Slifer either. Yep, it's a Chaos form. So, so far, this is the first set. Magical Contract Door, Crystal Avatar, Crimson, Nova the Dark, Cubic Lord, Final Gears, and Chaos Form. Let me put these aside. These are so crisp too. I'm gonna make sure that I get these all sleeved up and keep them in good condition because they're limited. They're gonna be limited and they're probably not going to come around after they go out of print. That's usually how this works. The thing about this is as a freaking collector, when I when I, um, when I I see anything is limited, that's how you get, that's how you get me. If, can you imagine if they start selling games limited? Well, I guess they technically do that sometimes when the game goes out of print later. I mean, I got some rare games back there, but out of print, limited, 
is how you suck him into buying anything. All right, first card is going to be we got a Volcanic Dragony, the Cubic King. Once again, another Cubic card. Looks really shiny. Wow. I love this. This is so cool. Put this to the side. Next one is going to be we got Blue Eyes White Dragon. All right. We got the we got the the legendary himself. Uh, very classic card when I was a kid. It's funny because I never actually liked Blue Eyes. Uh, I don't think I know anybody who ever ran Blue Eyes because it's not really a good card unless like you run certain decks around it. Next one is going to be uh, Chaos Form once again. Okay. So here's a dupe. Put that to the side. <gasps> What's it gonna be? Oh, it's not it! Okay, uh, we got, what is it? Can you not lock on? It's like locking on Dark Magician in the back. Uh, Dimension Guardian. And the next one is going to be Pandemic Dragon. So not that many dupes so far, which is good. You know, it's always a good sign. Getting dupes sucks. Um, but so far, so good. Let me put these, let me put these like right here where they're not like, I'm not trying to get my filthy hands on them. All right, final pack of the first box. I'm kind of excited for this. Let's see what we got. Uh, make sure I don't show the, the front. I want to be surprised myself. Here we go. Those are some nice packs too. All right, put this to the side. Here we go. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? All right, first card's going to be, if it's a slifer, I'm gonna scream like a little girl. We got uh, Dark Garnix, the Garnix, the Cubic Beast. Again, from the movie. If you guys watched the movie, let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. I enjoyed it. The only problem with the movie, no spoilers, is due to the fact it was all over the place. The thing that I enjoyed the most is Kaiba. Kaiba's one-liners, which reminded me of what I saw as a kid, was like, okay, yeah, that's the Kaiba that I remember from when I was a kid. But the movie was all over the place. Like, I like what I recommended. Yes, as a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, but as far as like uh, story and writing, it's like eh, whatever. Next card is Silver Gadget. Okay, look at that. It looks really nice too. Next one. All right. Whew. Gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Ah, oh, Lord Guy the Fierce Knight. For some reason, I thought that this was like him for a second. It looks very like raggedy at the top from the from this angle, but it's like not. It's just it's just the the way. Actually, I don't know. It's kind of raggedy. It's kind of like a a raggedy cut. I feel like if you get this graded, it would be like a nine, just because of the the cut. At the top. Like it's not bad. It just it just kind of raggedy. All right, and the final. Oh, there's two more. Heart of cards. Woo! Blue eyes, chaos, max dragon. Dude, that looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, I gotta look at that with my own eyes for a second. This looks really nice. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that art. Like, the thing I love most about Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards is the art. Like, you know, Dokkan and Gacha games are one thing, but like, you get to keep these. This is the basic art. And the final card is Crimson Nova, the Trinity Dark Cubic Lord. And there he is. Also a really, really nice art. I love the shine of it. The gold plating around it is what makes it so cool. Alright, so first box, not bad. Not bad. We got a blue eyes in there and we got the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. All right, so I'm not I'm not too upset yet. I'm not too upset yet. Here we go. Will this be the one? Will this be the one? Let me kind of pop this open over here. Ugh. All right, let's see what we get in the final box. You have to believe in the heart of the card, folks. You have to believe in the heart of the card. This is empty. All right, here we go. Can we get the Dark Magician? Because we got, no, we got the Dark Magician. We want the regular Blue Eyes next. Let's see if we got him. So first and foremost, Crystal Dragon again. And, oh, we got the blue eyes, okay. Well, that's the same blue eyes, isn't it? Was well, that the exact same blue eyes as uh, the one I got in the pack, as far as the art? Um, let's see where he's at. He was over here somewhere. Yeah, he is, so it's the exact same one. It's just one is like, here, let me just compare them side by side. One is, uh, it has like the lines, like the limited edition a hollow foil on it, and this one is just a regular gold and hollow in the middle. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's put this to the side over here, and put these over here. So I'm gonna mix out what I got in both packs. Oh God, I almost bent that. Do not, don't bend it. Don't bend the Crimson Nova, uh, Crimson Nova Trinity Dark Cubic Lore. It's a long ass name. All right, and then I got a Crystal Dragon, which is whatever. I got the two main promos that I want that it's all care about, but let's see what we got in here. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. My camera's flashing, can it not? It was, it was fine two seconds ago. You know what, I'm going to cut right here and uh, add a new battery, so I'll be right back. All right, here we go, let's try this again. Uh, I'm so glad that we got multiple batteries for this camera now. Even though the camera was literally full when I started recording. Three more packs, three more chances to get a Slifer the Sky Dragon. Slifer is my favorite of the God cards. In fact, let me ask you guys a question. What is your favorite of the gods between Raw, Slifer, and Obelisk? Comment it down below. I like Obelisk, Obelisk is nice, but by far, my favorite one is, um, is Slifer. All right. <sighs> Gotta believe the heart of cards. What's it gonna be? Oh, uh, Dark Magic Veil. Okay, still nothing. Still not getting the uh, card that I wanted to put this to the side. 
Come on, I believe. You have to believe in the heart of cards. We got... Ah, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's funny because I'm looking through my camera, which is like covering my hand. So until it focuses, I don't know where it is. And we got a Buster Gundil, the Cubic Behemoth. Lots of Cubic cards. Lots of Cubic cards. My phone's going off. I mean, just kind of mute for a second. There we go. All right. Will it be it? Will it be it? No, it's not. It's a trap card. We've got Dimension Reflector. Great. Yeah, watch me like get super addicted in Yu-Gi-Oh again. Like I have the game on uh, uh, the one that came out, Duel's Legacy, I think that's what it's called. And I also have Duel Links on my phone, which I have not made videos yet. And the next card is uh, Blade, Garodia, the Cubic Beast. And the final card of the first pack of the second box is a Gold Gadget, which is a dupe. All right, two more chances. If I get um, if I get Slifer in one of these, I'm probably gonna save one of the packs, just kind of keep them closed as a collector thing. So. Fingers crossed here. Yeah, watch me actually get addicted. I'm gonna start buying these because these packs are like ten bucks, not that expensive. But like, watch me start like buying these packs until I get a freaking slifer. Just because like again, the journey of pulling a card feels so good. All right, here we go. Five more chances. First card is um, silver gadget. Okay, put it over here next to his buddy. Uh, next one is going to be we got. Oh come on, Buster going to the cute behemoth once again. Another dupe. It's because I'm not believing. What is this? Is this it? This is not it! Damn it! Metal Hole, The Moving Blockade. If you watch the movie, this is all literally from the movie. There's 57 cards in this series. In the series. Cubic Mandala. Dang it! Still nothing. Still not it. Is the last one going to be it? Will this one be uh, Slifer? No, it's not! It's got Gira the Gile, uh, Gira Gile, the Cubic King. Okay. Well, last pack. Will this last pack contain my favorite of the Egyptian God cards? I have a spot for them right there. Well, it will be right here. I would just move this one somewhere else. Probably a row up. But it'll be right there. That, that could be like my Yu-Gi-Oh, um, my Yu-Gi-Oh space. All right, what's it gonna be? Okay, well, I can't even open this pack right now, so it's, maybe that's a good sign. I'm struggling to open a pack. That's gotta be a sign of good luck, right? Is that how this works? Let's rip this apart. Come on. Ah! Now I know you guys uh, might want, want to see me do more Yu-Gi-Oh openings, and while it could be fun, I don't want to get too into Yu-Gi-Oh again. Although I kind of do, but also don't want to. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it's a gateway drug. It's a gateway drug. But if you're enjoying this video, at least make sure you leave a like right below. Let's go for a thousand. The first card is going to be Vulcan the Dragony, Cubic King. Uh, four more chances. <sighs> this is like a multi summon, and we got Clear Karibo. Oh, look, he's so cute though. Again, the art in all these cards is just absolutely amazing. We got... Ah! I thought I was in for a second! Gandora X the Dragon of Demolition. Next card is going to be... Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, a second one, a dupe. Hope there's a dupe system sometime in, in this game. And then the final card is going to be... No! <laughs> Magic Defense. No Cypher for me. But you know what? I, I'm not mad because these cards just look absolutely glorious like I said I gotta get these all sleeved up put them somewhere safe because you know they're all first edition too once you know the movie uh, cycle is done I'm sure these are all gonna be super limited I might just go buy another box and just hang on to it for like the future but ultimately I gotta say I, I, I'm satisfied with it I'm satisfied with it at least I got a you know the blue eyes and dark magician as far as promo cards and I also pulled them in here as well and don't forget the blue eyes chaos max dragon so in the comment section below let me know what your favorite pull was of the video if you don't remember just feel free to run back and watch it all um, if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh content I guess let me know but I don't think I will most likely do a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh content because I already have so much stuff planned to do for a channel and I don't want to overwhelm myself but then again I do need to get and I do need to try to pull Slifer we'll see what happens I hope you enjoy the rest of your day uh, leave a comment and a like and I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.